okay, so as much as uh, all folks are enjoying like uh, Linux or GNU slash Linux, it's always sometimes important to always look at what alternatives there are out there, even if it's just for reading an article for interest's sake. And some of these, of course, are not necessarily full replacements for Linux, as some of them are not. Uh, fully yet ready for production but it's interesting to see the progress uh, and what's going out there in the world so today we're going to look at those four alternative operating systems to GNU Linux and let's get started coming in at number four is react OS so react OS is essentially an open source initiative to be binary compatible with uh, Microsoft Windows up to Server 2003 and upwards. And this project has been ongoing for many, many years. I think it's almost over 20 years. And it has, uh, you know, at some point it can run on some personal computers, a very limited number of machines, and can run a limited amount of software that's available for Microsoft Windows more and the Windows XP uh, Server 2003 era software tends to run on this. Um, it does make use of a wine as well to uh, enhance the capabilities and a lot of this graphical interface of course uh, replicates uh, Microsoft Windows in uh, the previous era. Definitely something uh, to watch out for and wait, but with the amount of time it's taken to come out, it is a wonder if it will ever reach uh, full viability. Number three, uh, FreeDOS. Uh, no, that's not a joke. FreeDOS, of course, is a free and open source version of uh, DOS that is aimed to be compatible with um, MS-DOS Precise. And of course, the aim here is in supporting embedded systems, some out there that are still running uh, DOS or MS-DOS, and you can replace it with FreeDOS. Um, a couple of old legacy software and applications that uh, quite a lot of folks still use out there. And FreeDOS is a good alternative for, for that environment as well. Also, if you're looking at playing some DOS games, etc., or even one needing to run a Windows 3, Point one on top of version of DOS, FreeDOS is definitely your uh, application out there. Uh, it is mostly composed of uh, GNU software and free software, but there might be a couple of additional bits that have been added that might uh, be under a different license, so uh, beware of that. Haiku, uh, coming in at number two, this of course is uh, the Spirit successor to BOS, which was discontinued many, many, many years ago. And of course, Haiku OS is uh, Unix-like, so a lot of the uh, Unix type of commands do seem to work on it, and it does have its own uh, software store now as well. Been in development for, for many years as well, and is starting to uh, become more stable as time is moving by. Do wish they would have a little bit more of a modern web browser, but um, if you have a system that runs or installs it extremely fast, very decent and uh, great to use. So I have done a review of it uh, before, so look out for that video. And yeah, hope to see this always go from strength to strength. And number one, realistically speaking, uh, if especially in the whole command line type of instance. Um, if you want something that's Nix-like or Unix-like, of course, is BSD and looking at FreeBSD, which of course is one of the oldest, uh, if not the oldest, still in existence BSD products. Of course, uh, similar with Linux, but uh, dissimilar as well. And the fact, of course, scope and licensing. So FreeBSD is a complete uh, operating system as are the other BSDs as well and uh, its documentation, device drivers, user land utilities, all part of one single system. And of course the license, uh, basically anyone can do what they want uh, with FreeBSD and don't necessarily have to contribute back to it. Uh, BSD, of course, uh, not ne as popular necessarily as Unix, but uh, 
in certain situations and circumstances can be incredibly rock solid and uh, have high throughput, especially with network connectivity applications. And if you using the correct type of software uh, can be a good alternative uh, to Linux on both the desktop with a lot of tweaking and most definitely in the server space as well, provided uh, you are going to use uh, the utilities in BSD and you don't try to use um, stuff such as Docker. Folks, uh, be great to hear what you think of this list and your comments below. Do you use any of these? Uh, do you want to use any of these? What's stopping you? Leave those comments below. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.